All right, well, we haven't shown you guys bamboo or the emus in a, a few, a little while. And so we're hoping to change that today. We're gonna actually build an emu area right over here, not too far from the house. House is right over here and we'll do this, but we want to introduce you to a special friend that's gonna be helping us with this project today. Jeremiah, say hi. Hi guys. Hey, so this is Jeremiah with the channel Arrow Ridge and he's gonna be helping us lay this out. I'm gonna go back to the house and start moving some of the other animals over this way and then hopefully we can get the emus over here today or tomorrow. Think we can get it done? Uh, I hope so. So I'm counting all the days till you'll come around to show me what you found. Since breaking from this misery, I wish that you could see me now that you're gone. Cause you need to be alone, away from my chemistry. All right, so we're looking at doing a yard that's about 80 feet long and 20 feet wide initially here. Someday we'll get them a bigger area, but now while we don't have an exterior fence on the property, that's what we're looking at. And so we're gonna build, move their house over here. We'll put a gate up here and we'll go from there. So, all right, let's do it. Let's get started. All right, this is one of the days we've been waiting for is to move the chickens and peacocks over. And so we're getting the emu house loaded up and we're getting a chicken tractor with all these chickens loaded up. Now we just need to catch the chickens in here, get them loaded up. We've got Leona and the girls right here and the peacocks right over here. All right, we're heading over to the new house. Let's see how they handle it. We got some chickens in the back of this trailer, so let's see if they are still hanging on there. I hear some chickens, huh? No emus in there, right? They're just in clucking. Chickens and ducks and turkeys. All right, we've got all the chickens in here ready to go into their new spot. Just leave the uh, the peacocks. Come on, chickens! Go in there and have them run this way. Can you help Eli? Can you let your bike help? Okay. Don't get in the way. Just go around and help them come out. Come on out! Come on out! Here they go. Come on, Slater. Come on, buddy. Go to your new spot. <laughs> 
go. Yeah. Can you get the chicken out? All right, last one. Last one. Got a brown leghorn. That's it. All right, we've got the peacocks in here and we're thinking about keeping them cooped up for a little bit because they know the other place is their home. And so we're gonna let them out in here. I'm gonna get a new top cloth for this, but they've been packed tight in this on the trip over. So let's let them out into their new spot for now. Come on guys. Bell. All right, now we just need to get them some food and water. They've been traveling for the last hour or so, get loaded up. Okay. So we need to get everybody some buckets and get them some food and water. All right, so we got the emu house here. We're gonna get this unloaded. All right, we spent uh, a bunch of this morning loading the emu house up and getting it over to our new place. And it was not easy with three of us trying to lift it on there. It's really heavy. So now we're gonna try to use my car right there and try to pull it off without totally ripping it up. The, we already screwed up the roof on this. So I'm gonna have to fix that. So hopefully we can get this off without it crushing too much. Hey, watch the back of the... They're pushing it right off. Watch my thing. Make sure this side doesn't... I don't rip it away from You're good, Jake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it still there? All right, we are all finished up with this day of work. We're, we've got a long way to go, but we've got some good progress done. Jeremiah, you helped out with uh, getting all these T-posts in, getting the groundwork laid for our emu yard right here. Yep. Anything you want to tell them about what you did here? No, we're just setting up a run for the emu, so I'm, I'm excited. I, I kind of wish we would have got further today, but I really appreciate your help because we were over moving the emu house this morning and then all the chickens over and so he really helped uh, getting this part um, some good progress here and so it just helped me moved us forward maybe a couple days from something we would have been cramming together at the end of the month so it really helps uh, moving forward on this yeah. and then we got and then we got the emu house moved over and it's in bad shape it's got a lot of pieces missing it's got some artwork that I've got to rehang and then the roof I've got to fix up but at least we got it over here and we never yep. have to move it again. <laughs> nothing a little, nothing a little uh, screws and nails won't fix, right? So, that's that's all right. Yeah. Well, Jeremiah, I really appreciate you coming by today. No problem. Hey, and we're problem. gonna have a link to his channel down in our description. So if you want to check out Arrow Ridge, be sure to check them out. Thanks for coming, buddy. All right, so we've had a full day here, getting the emu area ready, getting the chickens moved over, and working on the house. And we are ready to go home for the night, which this is still not our home. So that's. A problem because right now it's not quite dark and we need to put the chickens ducks and turkeys away and in the morning we we'll have to come back here and let them out so let's try to get them put in a little early so we can go have dinner so I'm counting on the days till you'll come around to show me what you found since breaking from his misery I wish that you could see me now that you're gone because you need to be well, we don't have any of our nets that we would have at home so we're just gonna have to grab some brush and see if we can sweep them in here. So the problem we're seeing is that they don't think this is their home. So even when we get them in, they come right out because they're looking for their coop. And we don't have any of our nets here, so we can't force them in here. All right, Becky's working with the last six up here. And they're just staying up by the trees. They won't go in. No! <laughs> oh. 
We did it. We did it. It's super dark. It got really late. We got the last chicken. Oh my gosh, that took like 30 minutes. Now it is dark. That was very tempting to just let him go. Let him go and just hope predator doesn't come in here, but we've never seen what kind of predators are out here yet. So we don't know what would come inside this fence and get them at night. Even though we'll turn it on, but we need to leave them in here maybe late. They got food and water, so they could stay in here a long time. So maybe they'll get oriented that that's their that's home. their home. I agree. I agree. Well, a big step today for our new place. Somebody's shooting. I guess we are in the country, huh? There's a lot of work today. Yeah. We are gonna sleep well tonight. But we've got chickens at our new home. We'll see you next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs>